Okay, so I want to make another one of these video guides with the uh, controller cam, and I want to say right from the beginning that the main focus of this video is going to be on the controller cam itself. Uh, I'm still going to explain what I'm doing, but uh, the focus is going to be just seeing my inputs on the controller, because I think that will help a lot more than an explanation by itself ever will. So first of all, I just want to recap quad jumping. So you want to start with the hoop, so you can also do this with the RC car and the radar in exactly the same way, which is interesting. You want to push up on the right analog stick, or whatever other direction you feel is comfortable, I just use up. And so then you want to double jump, and after your double jump you want to press triangle to switch to the stun club, and then do at least one full rotation of the right stick so that she goes into this spinning attack. And then once she's doing that spinning attack, you want to let go of the right stick completely, don't touch it, and then you should be able to just double jump out, as such. And so during this video, I'm going to refer to the second double jump as the third and fourth jumps, because this is not the first take of this video, and it got very confusing very quickly as to like which jumps I was referring to, so I'm going to call those the third and fourth jumps. And so I want to recap boost flies as well, and so that's basically just a standard boost jump, but into the sky flyer, so you want to start with the net or the club, they both work the same way. You want to double jump, and then after your second jump input, you want to swing forwards on the right stick, and then just switch to the sky flyer. And so, you'll get more height out of the sky flyer that way than if you did it from the ground, as such. So yeah, there's the recap, and now I want to talk about quad jumping into a boost fly. So, you want to start by doing a quad jump, and if you do a standard quad jump, during your third and fourth jump inputs, you should already be on the Sun Club, because you had to do the spinning attack. And so, to boost fly out, all you want to do is just after your fourth jump input, is swing the club forwards and switch to the Sky Flyer and spin out of it. And so, this seems pretty simple, but I don't know, this only clicked for me a couple days ago. I couldn't do it when I was playing the game six months ago. So, yeah, hopefully just seeing this in action helps. And so that's how you quad jump into a boost fly, just nice chaining tech together to get extra height. And so probably the main meat of this video is going to be quad jumping into net floats. So I'm not going to recap net floats because they take quite a while and I have a whole other video explaining that. But um, you want to be, you want to have your slingshot on X before you even start the quad jump. And so what you want to do is, after the first double jump, so imagine you've already double jumped and you've done the spinning club attack, what you want to do is, for your third jump, is to hit R1 and then X immediately afterwards, so that you switch to the, uh, the slingshot. So this is your third jump, so you've done the second jump, you've done the club spin, then for your third jump you hit R1 and X right afterwards, so that you're on the slingshot. And so then for your fourth jump, you just go into the uh, the net float procedure as you would normally. So imagine you've done the three jumps, you're on the slingshot. For your fourth jump, you would just jump, push up on the right analog stick to go into the slingshot, and then hit select to go into the gadget menu. So if I can chain all that together... <laughs> yeah, I still fail these occasionally. But yeah, there you go. And then from here, you can net float, and then chain into a second net float, and then sky fly out as well. And as you can see, you get a ridiculous amount of height, it's insane how high you can go by doing this. So hopefully I can get one more just to demo it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty input intensive, I think is a good way of putting it. But yeah, hopefully you guys get the idea. Just like that. And so I'll try and get one more of the um, the boost fly as well. Oh yeah, so for some reason I have this muscle memory of like switching to the net, but you can just do it straight out of the stun club. It's the same either way. So yeah, like I said, the focus of this video was supposed to be on the controller cam, so you can see the inputs. I know my explanations weren't the greatest, but yeah. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you want to do for these tricks. And uh, yeah, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.